How to create Kubernetes or OpenShift secret with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module K8S. The full name is kubernetes.core.k8s, which means that is part of collection of module of Ansible to interact with Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift cluster. It manages Kubernetes K8S object, so exactly what we need it. Uh, parameters of K8S. There is a long list of parameters. Let me summarize the most used. Most of the parameters are very generic and allow you to combine for many use cases. The name and namespace specify object name and or object namespace. They are useful to create, delete or discover an object without providing a full resource definition. The API underscore version parameter specifies the Kubernetes API version. Default is v1 for version 1. The kind parameter specifies an object model and the state, uh, like for other modules, determine if the object should be created, present option, patched, patched option, or deleted, absent option. The definition parameter allows you to provide a valid YAML definition, yes, directly in the Ansible playbook, string, list, or dictionary, for an object when creating or updating. If you prefer to specify a file for the YAML definition, the src parameter provides a path to a file containing a valid YAML definition of an object or objects that to be created or updated. You could also specify a YAML definition template with a template parameter, so plenty of options. You might find useful also the validate parameter in order to define how to validate the source definition against the Kubernetes schema. Please note that require the Kubernetes-validate Python module. Demo time. I'm going to show you how to create a Kubernetes secret with Ansible playbook. Specifically, we are going to create my secret with a YAML definition. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Wait a minute, would you like more information about a secret in Kubernetes? Jump directly to the documentation website and here you can see all the information about how to keep some uh, sensitive data or for example username and password inside your Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. As you can see there are a lot of examples and also some uh, copy and paste uh, code. Welcome to my Kubernetes cluster. Specifically, this is OpenShift, so he has a lot of more interesting features. On the username, let me connect with a cube admin and let me type a password. No, I don't want to share it with you. And as you can see, is uh, one of the latest edition 4.9 uh, available as a code ready container. So I'm able to run also my workstation and I really encourage you to test code in your workstation before deploying to your cluster. So where are the secrets located? Ok, under sidebar, workload and here we have all the cluster, all the secrets in my cluster. Uh, if you want to see the all secrets stored, 
just select all project as you can see there is a lot of things uh, going on here because uh, every component has a lot of secret let me restrict to example my project and we can manually create uh, one uh, secret from yaml for example and as you can see there is already pre-configured the yaml template you just need to modify username in my case i'm keeping admin and on the password definition let me be a more bit more specific i would like to use a secret uh, password password here we go let me create now one example one secret name example is available inside project example and as you can see we can also reveal the value so admin as a secret password but let's go a little bit deeper so if we take a look on this secrets available here we can uh, edit so we can customize with uh, new values but i would like to demonstrate that the uh, yaml definition is encrypted this format is base64 the same that we need to use uh, in our ansible playbook so let me use this yaml definition to create a new secret for example my secret with the same exact format so let me copy and paste this value will be very useful in my Ansible automation. Welcome to my editor. First of all, let's begin with our secret YAML definition. Let's start uh, with a YAML document API version v1 kind is a secret, isn't it? Yes. So metadata the name of a secret in my case my secret yes what a fantasy <laughs> and namespace let me define the default one so in my case example the type must be opaque which means that is uh, obscured to user so the username will be the hash or username base64 or username with represent admin and let me copy and paste the password hash with we saw before and here we go this is the secret well hidden that we don't want anybody to see so this is the secret yaml definition of our kubernetes or openshift how could we automate the code with ansible let me show you one simple ansible playbook so first of all let's begin our yaml document with three dash and a playbook name k8s demo that is target hosts all no damn it let me use on localhost my ansible controller uh, i don't need the system information so i'm going to set gather facts to false and uh, what else uh, connection local yeah because i would like to connect locally to ansible don't need ssh on the task list only one create k8s secret my secret using module kubernetes dot core dot k8s uh, this time I'm going to feed the YAML definition using mysecret.yaml and the state must be present and that's it yes so we basically offload all the detail of configuration in uh, mysecret.yaml that is a standard Kubernetes way of handling the secret and Ansible is going only to automate the connection to our cluster via the local credential. Let's move on to the terminal. 
For this example, I'm using code ready container and it's going to take a while to start up. So I was uh, speeding up a little bit the video, but this is what you are going to see in your terminal when you are going to start uh, code ready. When everything is up and running, as you can see, we can verify with CRC status, everything is running, CRC start is going to display the login developer and cube admin credential. So let me add to my current environment so I don't need to type the password with a login. So open shift login username cube admin and let me copy and paste the API endpoint. Great, I have access to 66 projects right now. Let me execute the code with ansible dash playbook under Kubernetes directory. I have a secret dot yaml. The execution will be super fast and we have a change status, which means some operation were performed on cluster. And what happens if we execute again the same Ansible playbook? Well, Ansible return OK status, which means no modification are needed for this secret definition. Great! So my secret is available? Let me verify manually. Back on my web console, let me go on workload secret uh, so I'm able to list all the available secrets. So my secret is available as you can see in the namespace. Oh, my secret. No, I don't want a space. <laughs> my secret is available in the namespace default as we requested was created two minutes ago and is composed by username and password. Let me reveal the value. Oh, I need to hold it. Yes, so username admin as a secret password value. Exactly what we wanted. We can also review the YAML definition that look like exactly as the one that we typed in uh, Ansible playbook. Yeah, great success! Now you know how to create Kubernetes and OpenShift secret with Ansible. I'm sure that this is very useful in your day-to-day -day journey. Thank you for watching this lesson. If it was useful to you, give me a thumbs up and see us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!